All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Play VS Spring League of Legends season. This is week three of the preseason. Guys, this is the last week of the preseason. Um, today it is Lake Stevens versus Ephrata High School. We actually played Ephrata um, two weeks ago for the first week. This is a different one of their teams. Okay, so right now it is champion select. This is a blind pick select, so I'm not going to show the screen because it's supposed to be blind so that you don't know who your opponents are. All right, and now they are locked in. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and swap over here to this screen. You'll see that for Ephrata High School, there is Ash, Vigar, Morgana, Warwick, and Urgot. And then for Lake Stevens, we have uh, Ninjas Invade, who's playing Nasus in the top lane. We've got Darius, I'm sorry, Frostwolf, who's playing Darius in the jungle. Macho Waffles playing Cassiopeia in the middle lane. OSU Legendary playing Jin for ADC. And Game and Printa playing Nami for support in the bottom lane. Right around this time last year was our first dip into competitive esports. Let's turn you down just a tad. Our first dip into competitive esports. And a handful of these players were the ones who made that debut. And I'll be honest, when we started off, um, we weren't that good. It's fine. Uh, we were not that good to begin with. Um, but they have been grinding for the last year. I'll be honest, I kind of expected them to play through the tournament. We got beat pretty badly. Cool, we had our fun. Um, yeah, but they, they, they picked up League of Legends to play, and I wasn't really expecting them to really play much longer than that. We got our butts handed to us, and it was really rough. Um, I kind of thought that they would have experienced that and gone, eh, this game isn't really for me, but that is not what happened. Instead, um, they were on the grind. For a long time and they have been on a grind for a long time um okay now my audio isn't working there we go Sorry about that, you guys. Not sure what was going on there, but if we take a look um, how things are going so far, you'll see that Lake Stevens is already up two kills to zero. Let's take a look and see who's got what. It looks like uh, Darius Jungle, that would be Frost Wolf, got a kill in the top lane just there, and it looks like Jin ADC in the bottom was able to snag a kill as well. They're pushing in on that bottom lane already, probably going to get, nope, there's a heal. A little bit of lag. He flashes in for the kill. I'm lagging. He's probably going to get killed by this tower, though. Especially with the Morgana stun. Jeez. Nope, he got him, and he was able to get out. Warwick Jungle tries to push in. Let me turn the volume up a little bit so you guys can actually hear the game. Frostwolf rolls into the middle lane, gives Macho Waffles a kill in mid. Like Steven's off to a pretty strong start so far. Crushing it in the creep count right now. Bottom lane just waiting for an opportunity. Warwick up here in the jungle. Might get noticed by that ward. No. Might get noticed by this ward. Probably not. Urgot in that top lane up against Nasus. Just letting the camera do its thing right now. This group of players has been playing together pretty frequently for the last year. The only exception, I think, is Ninjas in the top lane. He, he plays plenty, but he hasn't really been playing with these players. Um, good play by Macho Waffles there, staying inside that stun from Vigar. Game and Printer noticed in the bushes down there. Darius is in a gank position for that bottom lane. Sitting in the tri bush. Probably wanting to bait them out right here. 
Macho pushing in, gets a tower shot for his troubles. All right, Darius pushes in. They're able to grab one. There's the kill on Gerbil. Morgana is killed. Good positioning by Frostwolf there. I think they might consider going for the dragon now. I think the dragon's up. We see Cassiopeia roaming up to that top lane now. Trying to get into position to get Urgot. Going in. And Ninjas gets a kill in that top lane. Six and zero right now. Frostwolf taking out the crab in the bottom. Warwick, moving towards the top lane. Morgana out of position in this bottom lane. Trying to clear out some wards. Noticed a couple too many wards in position. Nami pulls back just to make sure that Frostwolf can get that dragon uninterrupted. Jin going back. And red team, like Stevens, takes the first dragon. Rift Herald is in position. They know that Warwick is there. They don't know that he's going for the Rift Herald. Looks like multiple Lake Stevens players pulling into that top jungle. They think Warwick is up here. They don't realize he jumped over to get the Rift Herald. They might realize it now, though. This could be big. Here they come. They're going for that Rift Herald. Dunk the Master Darius. Rift Herald is almost dead. They grab the Rift Herald. Make it a triple kill for those three right there and a Rift Herald. Like Steven's running away with this game. <laughs> that was perfect timing for Lake Stevens on that Rift Herald. OSU just hanging out down here, doing some farming, trying to keep himself secure. Getting poked by Ash just a little tiny bit. And like Steven's now pushing back into position after a couple of them went back after that Rift Herald. OSU's range is pretty scary for this fragile bottom lane. He's going in. Oh my gosh, they both get away with their lives. He wants it. He wants it. Oh, he almost snags one. In the meantime, it looks like Ninjas was able to kill Urgot in the top lane again. Through my work, you shall transcend. Warwick moving into gank Cassius here. Cassiopeia. Macho Waffles does hit the stun, although he tried to tried to wait it out. And first kill for Efreda on Macho Waffles. Caught out of position. I think he had a miss a misplaced stun too. Oh man. He knows he's there somewhere. Like Steven's gonna be taking this bottom tower. Vigar is pulling into the bottom jungle. And the dunk from Frostwolf. Ninjas has got two levels on this top lane right now. A 10 kill difference between these teams. And Morgana is just wet paper towel getting mulched by Jin right now. Like Steven's going to push in on this middle tower now. Not going to get a whole lot, although the Rift Herald is here. Looks like the bottom lane got another kill while I wasn't looking. Like Steven's probably gonna kill this outer tower in the middle lane. 
Let's let the camera do its thing for a little bit. Frostwolf a little bit, a little bit overconfident there, taking a bunch of, oh my gosh, the, the life steal on that spin though. He didn't take the tower shot. I thought he was going to. That's crazy. All right, that bottom outer turret has been destroyed. There's a kill for Frostwolf. Runs right into Vigar. That outer middle turret has now been destroyed as well. Man, Frostwolf is just tearing it up right now. Frostwolf is at 4-0. OSU is at 5-0. Uh-oh, Nami getting taking some big hits right here. Able to get the flash off and away. Gets the stun. Frostwolf gets another spin. Game and Print is staying just out of range. Beautiful engage in that bottom lane. Game and Print is staying just just out of range to try to drag those last couple afraid of players try to be trying to be bait for them macho waffles doing a really great job of not getting stunned by that circle seen it multiple times now looks like uh frost wolf is going for the second dragon right now osu joins ninjas in the top lane Second dragon for Lake Stevens. All right, Warwick is in that top jungle. Jin is in the vicinity. They pass two ships in the night, and this inner turret for the middle lane for Afreda is probably going to go down here. Like Steven's now doing some mind sweeping or some ward sweeping. Macho Waffles stays on this inhibitor turret in the middle lane. It's kind of a scary position. Probably should just swing back down to that bottom turret with Cayman Printa and OSU. All right, mental overload. The Warwick is moving into this top lane. Ninjas brings the pain. A big one-third of his health is gone immediately. He does take a stun there. Another 20-30% gone. Urgot pushing into the bushes now to try to help. Meanwhile, an engagement in this bottom lane. OSU goes in, gets one, gets a second one. And then the top lane, there goes Urgot. That is, I think, four dead. Four dead for Ifreda. I actually think that uh, Game and Printa got a kill there. Let's take a look. Look at that. 1-0 and 12 for Game and Printa and the support. Like Steven's going to take a Rift Herald for their efforts. Ninjas takes that top outer turret. Meanwhile, OSU and Game and Printa moving into the inner turret in the bottom lane. Two afraid of players do push up to the tower, so they have to pull back be a little bit careful here. Urgot goes right in, I think, to his death, unfortunately. Ninjas is just so big at this point. Too big to fail. Mental Overload tries to get that red buff, but instead gets taken out. OSU's going to grab it. Running right into Vigar. They know he's there. They saw him. He's able to get out of the way, though. Flash is out of the way. The ult is in position, though. He connects one. He connects two. Oh, with the kill! Beautiful! All right, that inhibitor turret in the top lane is gone. Probably going to lose the inhibitor turret in that middle lane as well. Morgana is going back, trying to help out. Top inhibitor is now dead. Frostwolf pushes in, takes a couple tower hits. Multiple tower hits, actually. Rift Herald, almost able to take out that top turret on the Nexus. Ash still farming in the bottom lane. Big ult down the middle there. Warwick is killed. Yep. It's going to be a sweep right there. Ash is the only person not in town. And that's going to be the Nexus. 
Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. GG's. Again, just like last time, we're going to have a blind pick where you are not going to see what they are doing. Um, once they have locked in to their champions, I will swap over so you can see who they've selected. Then we'll have that three minute wait, and hopefully when we load into the game, we won't have the issue that we did last time. But All right, let's move on over here to this screen. You will see that Lake Stevens has got... Yasuo, Timo, Oriana, Singed, and Yumi. And Efreda has Gerbil, XD, Big Max, sorry, Senna, Ezreal, Zareth, Warwick, and Orin. And let's move right into it. Fortunately, the game loaded without much of an issue this time around. I'd like to really thank Efreda High School for being able, willing and able to um, make the time adjustment for us. Um, we were supposed to play at 4 o'clock, but we had a player who was at the dentist office and um, wasn't sure they were going to be able to make it at 4 o'clock. Um, and so Efreda was willing to push it to 4.30, and that worked out for us. Lake Stevens pushing into this bottom lane. They see him. Oh, it's not enough, though. There it is. First kill goes to Yasuo. Frostwolf decides to take this opportunity to clean out their jungle. Oren gets some uninterrupted time to farm over the top lane, but I think that uh, Ninjas is totally fine with that, having got the first kill. Given Frostwolf the leash in the jungle that's not theirs. Ezreal is in the vicinity. Frostwolf is able to grab it. That jungle Teemo. OSU and Game and Printa pull into that back lane now. Frostwolf is sitting there. They do know he's there. They have the ward, and three of them are there. They have to be really careful here. Every time he moves, that ward sees him. He gets the, the level up there. Frostwolf probably hoping for Oriana to show up here. I think he still has his flash. Oh, that wasn't enough. Maybe he didn't have his flash. Oh, he doesn't have a flash. He's the jungle. That's right. I don't think he realized that they knew he was there the whole time with that ward. XD taking a handful of damage down there. Ninja's pushing in on JavaScript. There's a nice kill down in that bottom lane. Ninja's now it's 2-0. And yeah, that jungle Teemo is a little bit fragile. Gotta be careful. Ninja's getting some time on the tower. Mason, um, I'm sorry, not Mason. Well, that is his name, but uh, Macho Waffles sent me a clip of them playing the other day. Nice hit there. A clip of them playing the other day where they hit this beautiful, beautiful uh, coordinated team attack with him as Oriana. And just has a nice level up on JavaScript. Macho's got a level on Big X, Big XD. Jungle Teemo going back. Ninjas going into a duel with Orin at the top. Meanwhile, looks like XD might fall here, but Game and Printa and OSU are not able to put the damage and they need to confirm that kill. XDH pulling back. Oh, 
Oh, that was close. Warwick went went prancing in there looking for him. He just barely made it back. I feel like the Zareth pick is both very good and not good at the same time. Like, the range can just be so strong. But I also feel like he kind of peaks mid-game. And then kind of slips downhill from there. Afraid of being a little bit more careful this game. Already you'll notice that there's like Stevens is only up one kill. Um, and they've given up one kill a lot sooner than they did before. Not as much coordinated ganking going on. Probably having a lot to do with the composition. Um, Uh-oh. Is is Frostwolf AFK? Maybe he disconnected for a second. This happened the other day too. This is not good. This is how they lost their game the other day. It's pretty quiet for the moment. Okay, I see Timo moving again. I was a little bit scary. Either they were waiting for gold, or maybe they had to step away from the computer for a second. I'm not really sure. Ninjas, dueling with JavaScript. Not quite the damage needed, though, unfortunately. Nice job. Takes a couple turret hits, but Warwick is nowhere near able to punish that. Oopsies. Uh, in the meantime, it looks like OSU was able to get a kill down in that bottom lane on Ezreal, I believe. Or maybe Senna. Macho having to pull back to the tower here. Looks like that first dragon might be up. It's warded by Lake Stevens. Macho just continuing to take those pokes from Big Max. At this point, Frostwolf uh, a little bit under-leveled. Not under-leveled compared to the other jungle, but not where they want to be, unfortunately. Macho's able to push up, feeling confident with Teemo nearby. Looks like Yasuo moving back up towards Oren. Macho does avoid that skill shot, fortunately. Ninjas engages. He still only has one level on him. Okay, Macho now has his shield, so he's able to kind of tank a handful of those shots. Warwick is down in the Lake Stevens jungle right now, prowling around by that bottom tower. Clearing out the golems, by the looks of it. Ninjas... Does the damage needed? Frostwolf is able to secure that kill. Probably a good thing to give that one to Frostwolf. Not because, you know, he did all the work or anything. Okay, the two pull back. I think they saw Warwick going into the jungle. They know he's here somewhere. They don't know where he is, though. Maybe they're going for Zareth? Yes, they are. Nice little gank in the middle. Macho is able to secure that kill. Warwick still cleaning out those golems. Like Stevens is now up 6-1. to one. And they are up a nice 4k gold as well. They just don't really have the punching power that they had last game with... Uh, Darius and Jin. They have a lot more nice CC and stuff, though. OSU just chasing him out of there. He's level 4, so he can kind of afford 
to push around a little bit. He's gonna, probably going to scoop here. He does get the scoop. I think he's going to get killed for his efforts. Ninjas dueling with Jabba up here. Looks like they were able to get Ezreal. Frostwolf is now here to help. Perfect. Zareth comes into that bottom lane. Oh my gosh. Just fighting between the towers right now. Like Steven's doing an incredible. OSU gets another kill there. Rift Herald popped on that top lane. Let's stay down here for now. They take a tower plate and they're going back for more. Completely zoning them out. No minions for you. That top outer turret has now been taken out for Afreda. OSU and Game and Printo skirting the edge there, waiting for their minion wave, keeping them back at their inner tower. Macho Waffles continuing to get slammed by that poke damage. Work is coming in from that top river. Let's see if uh, Macho Waffles can be a little bit more careful than he was last time. This is right about what happened last time when he got ganked. Maybe not this time. Work instead pulls back. No, he's moving back into position. He's got to be careful here. Yep. Gets stunned. Flashes into the bush. Frostwolf here to help. I don't think it's going to be enough though. Yep. Frostwolf probably going to die here as well, actually. Yeah, a double kill for Warwick. Macho Waffles, once again, didn't have the ward pressure that he needed in that mid lane. So OSU says, you know what? Fine. If you want something done, you got you got to do it yourself. <laughs> and then just has to be careful here. He's at about 25% and uh, dangerous Warwick in the area. OSU going to catch him in the bush. Gets him snagged in the poison. And Game and Printa is able to secure that kill. Meanwhile, Afraid are going to take probably one or two plates here from the bottom outer tower for Lake Stevens. Alright, OSU and Game and Printa moving back into the bottom lane. Macho Waffles avoiding that pressure from Big Max, avoiding that poke damage. Walks right back into it that time. Big damage. They're going in on XDH. There's a kill. Probably going to see a second one here. Thrown by OSU, and OSU gets the second one. This team right now is just plowing this bottom lane. Ninjas chases Orin back to that top inner turret. They take a final plate. And this bottom outer turret is about to fall as well. Meanwhile, Frostwolf is able to grab... Is able to grab the, the dragon. And now has his own mushrooms. Ghosts out of there. And supported by that bottom lane immediately. Ninjas and... Java continue to duel at the top, but Ninjas now is just kind of steamrolling his way through that top lane. Orin doesn't really have, I feel like, the tanky health pool that he needs to continue to survive those. Alright, Ninjas now putting pressure on this top inner turret. Another plate going to fall for this Lake Steven squad. 80 gold apiece. And the outer middle turret is about to fall. OSU Legendary continuing to pressure these opponents on the bottom. Gets the throw into the bush. And that's going to be the kill. Meanwhile, Java and Ninjas continue to duel on this top lane. Ninjas now just doing so much damage. Takes a turret as well. Macho Waffles almost done with this turret here. Going to take a turret shot. Yeah. Shield is able to help him tank some of it, though. That middle outer turret is almost gone. Macho Waffle's just waiting for, I think, probably Teemo to move into position. I feel like this matchup here, this mid matchup, has been the one that's been the most um, even so far. 
Ninja's chewing through this inhibitor in the top lane. Sees Oren, says, come on, come on, Oren. Oren escapes back to the tower. Oh, he grabs the airborne slat. He's going to take a bunch of hits, though. He does get a kill. Super gutsy from ninjas. He's going for this inhibitor now. The risk paid off. No one else is there to stop him. Alright, Ninja's pulling back. This is actually the first time that we've seen Ninja's play Yasuo, despite the fact that I think his uh, his profile says Yasuo main. <laughs> Alright, OSU Game and Printer rolling through that bottom jungle. Looks like all of the Afreda squad has pulled back into their base. Lake Stevens may be considering going for a Baron here. So we got some bounties up now. Now they're just clearing out this minion wave so they can grab this middle inner turret. Warwick is in the jungle here. I don't think OSU saw him though. OSU is swinging back around. Comes barreling in there. Gets one kill. Tanking so much damage right now. Zareth goes down. And now we have a battle for the Rift Herald. Ninja's probably just going to outclass him here. Yes, he takes out Ninja, he takes out Warwick, and he's going to get the Rift Herald as well. Beautifully executed by OSU and Macho Waffles. Game and Printer nowhere to be seen this time. Frozen in place. Oh, just step out of the way of those skill shots. Lake Stevens now at this point snowballing out of control. 23 to 3 with a 17k gold difference between. They've got one inhibitor down, pounding down this top door. Still a couple turrets intact down at the bottom, but Lake Stevens decides they're going to push in through this vulnerable top lane. Ninjas goes in on Big Max. Going to take a couple turret shots. Got to be careful here. You think you might be feeling a little bit too confident there. Maybe a little bit outnumbered. Frostwolf, meanwhile, pushing this middle lane. Alright, those inhibitor minions are now pushing down the gates. Frostwolf versus Warwick. Brings him right into the mushroom. He's going to probably run right into another one. Yep. That's Teemo for you. A great skill shot by ninjas right down the gut. Knocks two of them in the air, but decides not to go for it. Probably probably the smart choice in that dis in that moment. Afraid has pulled back to their nexus for some health. And Lake Stevens is knocking on that door for that middle lane now. Middle inhibitor turret's about to fall in the middle inhibitor shortly after. OSU goes in. Right under the right under the towers. Takes out one. Takes out two. Takes out three. Probably going to be killed. Flashes out of the way, and he is finally taken down himself. But that is an ace for Lake Stevens. Dragon's been slain. They've got one tower left, and then it's the Nexus. Afraid is still several seconds away from having an intact team. Both Nexus turrets are down. There's the Rift Herald. Yasuo puts up that shield. And that is the game. Well done, GGWP. All right. I feel like this game was definitely the ninja's show. I mean, he was pretty strong. 
pretty strong last game, of course, as well. But multiple times, duels were being won by him. And then it became a, t a, a, a time where he was just kind of snowballing out of control. 11-0-1. Um, game in Printa's performance, he's getting a lot more kills this time. 7-0, uh, but a lot less assists. It's kind of an interesting support character um, in the cat. OSU was just diving in there but you can just see overall a lot stronger performance from Ifreda. Um Frostwolf killed twice including that one time when Warwick got him in the jungle at the very beginning. Macho Waffles um, only getting one kill despite a pretty decent performance overall. Um, one, one, and five. Uh, but yeah this was really I, I feel like OSU and Game and Printo rolling around in the bottom and Ninja's holding his own at the top. Um, for Ifreda, Mental Overload in the jungle, Warwick was actually doing pretty pretty well. Um, I don't really know how things would have gone if they had maybe not landed that kill on um, Frostwolf at the beginning. Um, but there you go. Lake Stevens goes 2-0. and oh. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. This is the final match of the preseason, which means next week um, is the first game of the regular season. All of this was just practice, getting used to the play VS system, getting used to using match codes, kind of figuring out your comps and all that stuff. But next week, it's for real. Next week, it's on the record. Next week, um, we stop doing blind picks and we start doing draft picks. Um, and next week, the record becomes final and how things progress from there will be based off of our record. So, um, I've, although we did really well and ended um, five and one for the preseason. That's all wiped clean. We got to start fresh and go from there um, But man the Lake Stevens squad is solid so far absolutely solid doing an incredible job What I'm saying is next week. It gets a lot more exciting So make sure that you are ready to watch when that comes up um, What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to follow the twitch channel also check out our YouTube channel where I'm slowly uploading videos um, from the last year where you can see them. Um, and also check out our Twitter and Instagram pages, which is at esports underscore LSHS, where you'll find I'm posting all of the updates for stuff to come. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.